in high school, I fell in love with a Jesuit priest who also happened to be a scientist. His name was Théard de Chardin, and his writing about the relationship between faith and science was a satisfying match, both intellectually and spiritually, for this farm girl raised on what at the time was called the United Church's new curriculum. Decades later, I became immersed in Ignatian prayer practices. The practices with which Teilhard would have been very familiar and he would have followed. These two experiences um, help me to know Jesus as both companion and Christ. Ignatian prayer taught me to pray with Jesus as a friend. Jim Cotter's paraphrase of what we call the Lord's Prayer is especially good for transporting me into the company of disciples. It begins, eternal spirit, earth maker, pain bearer, life giver, source of all that is and that shall be, mother and father of us all. The Jesuit way of praying helps me to enter more fully into a deep experience of Jesus as Christ as well. And it's not easy to talk about this, but I experience Christ as the doorway through which I encounter God's divine cosmic love for the world, a love for you, a love for me, a love for everyone else, including those of other traditions and communities. As I say, it's hard to describe mystical experience in words, but that kind of experience of heart and soul is something I think it's worth trying to describe. So Jesus as Christ opens me to confidence in my unity with all other beings, human and otherwise. This is what my old boyfriend, Teilhard, called an experience of the cosmic Christ, the Christ of the universe, in which all polarities are reconciled. Polarities such as religion and science, matter and spirit, body and soul, prayer and work, contemplation and action, the inner life and the outer life. In order to create a positive, loving difference in the world. Jesus as both companion and Christ is my model and teacher for how I and we are called to live love. For God so loved the world. <laughs>